And once you have this diagram, then you have what you need to derive the magnification formula that Dylan knew from reading. <laughs> so let me draw the auxiliary figures that will let you derive the magnification formula. These are the auxiliary figures. This triangle here. And this triangle here. By the way, everyone here um, familiar with the concept of magnification? Like making something greater by some factor. So if I wanted to define a magnification for this lens, how would you want to define it? Like, um, let's see. Yeah, let me just leave it there. So how, how would you want to how would you want to define magnification? M. What two things um, do you have whose size you are concerned with? Yeah, size of the object. The distance you are looking at. Uh, well, what do you mean about what do you, what do you mean by distance? Uh, I guess I'm just thinking of actually looking through a magnifying glass, not than just a certain distance in order to get it to be a certain size. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll talk about that. What you see through magnifying glass, that's going to be um, something called the angular magnification. Here, uh, we are dealing with a linear magnification. We are dealing with, OK, so I have this object over a certain size. And when I look through this uh, lens here, this object, whatever I see through the lens, it doesn't appear to be this thing of, I don't know, 10 centimeters or whatever. Well, one, its location will change. But after having accounted for that, what I look through this lens will appear to be an actually different size. So what, what is it that I'm seeing when I look through the lens? I'm not really seeing the object, right? Yeah. What am I seeing? Virtual hmm? virtual not virtual image. Well, I, it, well, it, it's this image, right? Whenever I look through the lens, what, I'm, what my eyes perceive is the image. It can be virtual. It can be real. So what I'm seeing is this image here. So when I'm talking about the magnification, I would want to know how the size of the object was magnified into the size of the image. So let me just give it some labels. Um, let's say this is my object height. And let's say this is my image height, height of the image. So I might say my magnification m is the ratio of these two. Ratio of the height of the image divided by height of the object. Good. And uh, we are actually going to allow this magnification to be uh, positive or negative. So um, this hi here as drawn, this should actually be a negative number because it's going, um, the object started out upright, and it's going below the axis. So we are going to say this is a negative number. When we do it that way, this magnification can be used to tell us if an image is upright or inverted. Yeah? Okay. So this is the definition we are starting out with. But this will be very inconvenient definition to use, because then you will have to know the size of the object, you will have to know the size of the image. And um, do you feel like this magnification should depend on the size of the object? Like if I used half as tall of an arrow, would my magnification still be the same? Right? Yeah. The image will be half as tall, so that magnification will be the same, right? So even though this is how we define it, we won't really use this a lot. And this is where these auxiliary figures are helpful. This right triangle here, and this right triangle here, they share a feature 
in the one side of this right triangle is the height of the object. And one side of this right triangle is the height of the image. How are these two triangles related? Can you see anything that says those are not just the two random triangles? They actually have some relationship to each other. Not congruent, similar. Somebody says similar. Yeah, similar, right? Um, they are different sizes, but you see that these two angles are the same. So it's a right triangle, so all the other angles are the same, so they are similar triangles. Which means, if you know the other sides, and we do, this side here is the object distance. And this side here, this side here, is the image distance. You can say that the ratio of the sides are the same, or I guess um, making things easy for myself, I can say um, ratio of this side to that side is equal to ratio of this side to this side. Okay? So we would say this magnification, um, this is the definition, but we would say, all right, we can see that it's numerically equal to image distance over the object distance. Now, you might wonder, if you are looking at the formula in the textbook, other than this swapped error, um, it has this minus sign. Should we have a minus sign here? Yeah. So here, I said that the image height, I'm going to let that be negative. Here, can I just say I will let image distance be negative? No, because looking at the thin lens equation, image distance was positive. And this positive sign actually has a meaning that we are going to go over really soon. So here, image distance is going to be a positive number. So we put the negative sign with the formula. That's where this formula comes from. 